Hello! In this tutorial I will show you how to create a colorful portrait in GIMP 2.8. It's going to look like this. I'm starting from duplicating my image. Next I'm going to play with cars. So I'm going to my blue channel and I'm going to rise this bottom point a bit up. It made my shadows look bluish. Next I'm going to channel value and doing the same thing, just raising the bottom point up. What it did, it kind of decreased our contrast. Next I'm creating a new transparent layer and setting my foreground color to dark yellow, check the numbers on the screen. Now I'm setting my transparent layer to screen mode. Now I'm going to use blend tool, I'm going to set my shape to linear and pull a gradient the way you see on the screen. As you see the effect is a bit too strong, so I'm going to play with opacity now. I think like this is ok. Next I'm creating a new transparent layer, setting my foreground color to blue, check the numbers on the screen. I'm setting this transparent layer to mode screen as well. And using blend tool I'm pulling a gradient. Once again I'm reducing the opacity to about half of its strength and creating the next transparent layer. I'm changing my foreground color to dark orange, changing the layer mode to screen. With the blend tool still selected I'm changing the shape to radial and creating an orange circle. And the opacity of this layer also needs to be reduced. Next I'm creating a new transparent layer, setting my foreground color to red, layer mode to screen and now using the blend tool I'm making this small red circle. The point is to add many layers with different colors set to different opacities. Next I'm creating a new transparent layer. Now I'm setting my foreground color to white. I'm not going to change mode of the layer and keep it to, at normal. And using the blend tool I'm creating large white spot. I made it to brighten up that particular part of the image. Now another transparent layer. I'm setting my foreground color back to orange. I'm going back and forth to, from color to color it's because this is how it works. You just build up the image, you build up the colors. You can't do it all in one go. Another transparent layer. I think you know the routine by now. Create a new transparent layer, set it to screen mode, select a color for your foreground, then take blend tool and create a gradient. Next right click on the image New from Visible which creates one single layer from everything we've done before. Now I want to increase the color vibrancy of the image so I'm going to Filters, Egg, Color Vibrancy. Next I'm creating a new transparent layer. At this point I'm going to start using special brushes I made beforehand. I made three different brushes for this image and now I'm going to show you how to make such a brush. Create a new square file 1200 pixels and add a transparent layer. Take brush tool and set your foreground color to whatever you like. Create a few spots on the canvas and change your foreground color to another color. Add few spots and change your foreground color again. For my brush I decided to use blue, green and the last color is going to be purple. Next I'm going to filters, blur, motion blur. Here 
Here I've got blood type set to radial and angle to 110. To make the color stronger, I'm duplicating the layer with colors and deleting the white background, we don't need it anymore. Using right click, I'm merging two layers together. Next, I'm going to image, auto crop image. And as a last step, I'm going to edit copy, edit paste as new brush. Here you need to give the name to your brush and press OK. So now using the brush I made before, I'm going to change size a bit of the brush and uh, reset my settings I used before. So aspect ratio is to zero and angle as well to zero. Dynamics off. Also we need to make sure that our transparent layer is above all the layers. And the rest of my steps I'm not going to explain because I'm sure you understand what I'm doing. I'm using brushes, changing them, creating new layers and you know playing with opacity. You can add as many layers as you want. It all depends on your photo and on your preferences. Because in this video I just wanted to show you how multiple layers with different colors change the look of an image completely and really it doesn't have to be just a portrait it can be any kind of image you like now I'm going to create another new visible layer from all the layers and now I'm going to increase the color vibrancy again because I want the colors to be really rich by the way, my intensity is increased to 3 instead of 1 as it set at default. Oh wow, that's a bit too much of the color, so I'm going to decrease the opacity. Now I'm going to merge all the layers apart from the original one. So I want to show you now what we've done so far. I quite like it, but I want to brighten up a bit that part in the middle of the image. And as a last step, I want to add some text. I'm setting my foreground color to black and using the text tool, I'm going to create the area where I want my text to be. The size of my text is set to 200 pixels. The name of the font I'm using is Good Times. Next I'm going to Layer, Transform, Rotate 90 degrees counterclockwise. Using the Move tool I'm moving my text to the right. And now I need to scale it a bit because it looks way too big for my image. Okay, now I'm going to move it to the position, but it seems to be still too big, so I will need to scale it again. Oh dear, still a bit too big. Well, bear with me, it's just some, you know, minor adjustments. I think everyone does it when creating an image. Well, finally I've got what I had in mind. Now I'm going to set my text to overlay mode and decrease the opacity. Here it is, the transformation of our image is finished. I will just show you as a last thing the before and after effect and we are done. I really hope that you learned something new today for yourself. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.